we're going to go over 3D navigation in Blender. So in Blender, you could pan, zoom, and orbit. You could do that with these icons on the top here, top right corner of the, which you have the 3D viewport. So to pan around, if you click on the hand, left click on your, with your mouse button and drag, you'll pan around the object like that. It went off screen, so let me fix that. To zoom in and out, you could use this icon and I could pan that again by clicking. And to orbit around, you could click here in the center of it and start ro start dragging your mouse to rotate around, orbit around it. Now, you're able, basically what pan does that moves, well, that's actually zoom. If I click the hand one, pan moves up, down, left, right. You could also do this instead of using the icon here, as long as your mouse is floating over the viewport. If you hold the shift button, shift key on your keyboard and click on the middle mouse button, you could also pan around without using the icons. Zoom over here, zooms in and out if you click on it. To do it, you could just roll with your middle mouse button if your mouse has the wheel. So roll with the middle mouse button wheel in and out. Or you, if you have a middle mouse button, or if you, you can still do it with the middle mouse button that has a wheel, you hold the control and click on the middle mouse button and you can zoom in and out. Now to orbit around, again, you can click on here, left mouse button, click on here, or just have your mouse over the viewport, click the middle mouse button by itself. And just no modifier key and just wrote this basically drag it around. Now the top left corner over here, it tells you what the current view is. So right now we're in perspective view, it's user. And the icon on the top right view, you could also click on the these buttons here to snap onto a certain view. So if I press minus X. It's going to look from the left orthographic view. What orthographic means, if I just click this and drag around again, right now you see we're perspective view, user perspective, meaning user, you defined it, user defined view. It's an arbitrary view we, we have. We see here that the lines, it's perspective view, so the parallel lines actually meet at a vanishing point somewhere in the horizon over there. If you click on this icon, it will switch the view to orthographic so the parallel lines still stay parallel. Click it again to go back. Or what you could also do is use the keyboard, the number pad, the number five to tag toggle between orthographic view and perspective view. Now, if you're on a laptop or you don't have a number pad. If you notice in the, the number five button or key on your keyboard above, your keys don't work. To enable that, you go to edit preferences and under the preferences, go into input. And for the keyboard, you could say emulate numpad. You click that on, you can close this. Now, if you press the number pad, well, not the number pad, well, the keys above your keyboard. They work like the number pad keys, they're enabled. So, now that you have the number pad keys, you could also, or the emulation of it with the key, the number, numbers above the keyboard. There's a couple of things you could do with the number pad. If you press zero, it will go into the camera perspective. So it's going to look through the camera that we have in the scene or the active camera which we'll explain later. If you press zero again on the number pad, or if you have the number pad emulation, it will go back out to your user perspective. So this camera here, when you press zero, it's going to look through that camera.
and you press zero again it's gonna go back to your user view and again to orbit around you could use the middle mouse button key or here right so that's like going towards the camera and looking directly through it when you press the zero key and I press zero to go back toggle out of it now if you want to look from the top view again you can press the z on the t here and you'll see the top orthographic view if you press 5, it'll change it to perspective. You'll see it looks slightly different. Or you click here to toggle perspective or orthographic. Or the 5 key on your number pad. Or 5 above the keyboard if you have the emulation on. And if you click, you could see it's going to swap from... If I click on the Z, it's going to swap from the positive Z to the negative Z. So it's swapping from top view to bottom view. You could do that on the numpad by pressing... 8 to, well actually sorry not 8 uh, I'll explain what that is but top view is 7 right and bottom view is control 7 to toggle the top and the bottom well not toggle actually 7 goes to the top control 7 is the bottom so if you want to do the front front is Z actually no sorry front is Y Actually, he's toggling in the back, so positive Y is the front. If I just rotate this out. So, if you're looking at here, oh, actually here, negative Y is the front. Well, looking down, the positive Y axis is the front view. Um, which is, press 1 on the number pad. And... To go to the back view, you could hold control one and it'll, you'll see it's back orthographic view. And I could, you know, drag that again. So now we have that. Now, if you want to do that's front, that's back. If you want to do left and right, so the right on the number pad is three. See, now it's the right view. And the left view is control three. And now you see you're on the left view. And again, to toggle perspective, you click here or press 5 on your number pad. Or if you have number pad emulation, 5, like that. Now, another thing you could do if I again just orbit around by clicking here or just using the middle mouse button to orbit around the object, I could snap to these corners again by clicking here or pressing the number pads, you know, one, for example, three or seven, uh, or middle mouse to go back. Another way you could do that is if you will alt, the alt key on your keyboard and use your middle mouse button to drag on one side, it's going to snap to the side you drag it on. Right now it's left. If I drag it again, it's going to go to the back, to the right, holding the alt key and the middle mouse button. It's going to, it's a quick way. If I don't hold the Alt key, I am orbit, orbit around. If I hold Alt key, I snap to one of these views. So that's another way you could do that. And one other thing you could do as well is incremental navigation. So if you want, again, the middle mouse button orbits around an object, or you could orbit around by dragging on the icon here. But if you want to, let's see, you have a view and you want to just move slightly up incrementally on your numpad you can press 8 to orbit up incrementally by tapping it a couple of times or you could press orbit down by pressing the numpad 2 to orbit down to orbit to the right is numpad 6 orbit to the to the the left be numpad number pad 4 and whatever, if you want to see the opposite side of where you are, if you press the number pad 9, when you're up, it'll go on the opposite side. It'll just keep switching the opposite side. There we go. Now, another thing that, that's in some 3D software that you could do it with uh, the mouse shortcuts or but not in all of them 
not what I mean by that, not every 3D software have this feature. In Blender, you could actually roll around. And when I say not the feature, it's not like in the viewport, you have to like go through the menus or something, not through the mouse navigation. But in Blender, how you do it is if you press shift and then press the four button, you start rolling around uh, to the left. If you press shift, the six button, numpad six, you roll around to the right. If you want to pan up, you know, panning again is if I click this and go up and down, or if you hold shift and a middle mouse button up and down. To do it with the keyboard, if you hold control and the number pad eight, that will go down. If you want to do the opposite, number pad two will go up. Hold and control number pad two button. If you want to go left, control number pad four. If you want to go right, control number pad six. And to zoom in and out with the keyboard, you could just press the plus or minus either on the number pad or again if you have the emulation on from edit preferences input under keyboard emul emulate numpad there and if you want to focus on an object meaning let's say i'm this far and i want to zoom in on that selected object make sure i'm in select mode which we'll go over these later we'll click on that click on the object so you could see in the outliner that object is selected if I press the period button next to the zero button on the number pad, it will focus around that. Another way that that could work, you'll notice here it will toggle local or not. If I click on here and I press the slash button, which is next to the shift button, the right shift button on your keyboard, it would also focus on the object. But if you press that again, it will toggle back to where you were. What you could also do is, if you notice again, in, you have these menu on the top, but in the each view, the 3D viewport specifically here, it has its own menu that's specific to the viewport that's different than the actual Blender menu on the top. And in here, in, for the specific to this viewport, you have a view and some of the actions I mentioned here, if you go to viewport, viewpoint, it's the same things that I mentioned here. You can select them and you see the hotkeys are next to it. So if I want to see the top view, view, viewpoint, top, it'll take you to the top view. And you can do the same thing. And with the other ones, again, viewpoint, top, bottom, front, back, right, left, the navigation will help you do the other things I mentioned, like if you want to orbit left, it will do it, but do it incrementally, right? So if I go back to view, navigation, orbit left is numpad four, right? So you press the four on your numpad key, it will do it incrementally, but if you want to do it faster, just type it on your numpad key. Six on the numpad, numpad, numpad key is, as you can see, navigation here, numpad six is orbit right, and you can follow these to go along with it. So that's a lot to remember. You could choose, you know, write down and choose the method that you use. Most likely, most people use just the mouse shortcuts. So again, that is middle mouse button. If you hold the middle mouse button, that orbits around. If you hold shift and middle mouse button, that pans around. And if you hold control middle mouse button that zooms in and out or you could roll the the wheel of the middle mouse button if you have that these other controls is if you is helpful sometimes if you have a specific view or you don't have a mouse or on, you're on a laptop with no mouse and you want to navigate around thank you for watching remember to like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell